All right, so now we're on to question two. First part, A, uh, it gives you um, the diagram of an uh, inverting Schmidt trigger. Make sure, that's one thing to note, it's an inverting Schmidt trigger, that will come apparent later. Um, it asks you to work out the switching threshold of the char characteristics of the Schmidt trigger. The switching thresholds are the values at which, when V in, v in re hits certain values of V in, it, gi it gives big changes in V out of the, um, of the Schmidt trigger. From the diagram, it's pretty easy. All we need to do is find out the values where V in, making the big, the big changes, they're 1 and 3. So the switching thresholds are at 1 volt and at 3 volt. Okay, so next question, 2 marks, 1 mark. Next question, part B, we get given this diagram and this diagram. It asks you, um, draw the output for the Schmidt trigger when this analog signal is applied to the input. Okay, so it's, the, the analog signal is being put into our Schmidt trigger, which we know has switching thresholds of 1 volt and 3 volts. So if we draw lines across the 1 volt and 3 volts, this is the first thing you should always do. Okay, and the one volt. Okay, so now I ask you to sketch the output that we would see. So this is basically saying as V in drops below three volt, as uh, sorry, as V in drops below one volt. This is what our diagram telling us. As V in drops below one volt, the output will go to nine volts. Okay, because this is an inverting Schmidt trigger. So, we can draw our, our, our value on here, we know it's going to go to 9 volts and 0 volts in the output, so it's either going to go along this line, or along the 0 volts, okay, so we take our values, the, the values, because it's the invert and the inverter, the values at which it will um, cause the out to rise, is going to be 1 volt when, it, when the analog signal drops below 1 volt, which is there, and nowhere else. The values at which it will cause it to fall is when it rises above 3 volts. Here, it's not, it's falling below 3 volts, so we don't draw a line. Here is where it's rising above 3 volts, so we draw a line there, and then nowhere else, it's all fine. We don't here it's right above one volt, so we don't need to draw anything because it's got to go either above three volts or below one volt. Now in sketching this, we can draw these values down so we know that where they are. Okay, so it's going to start off at zero volts. It's going to go along to where the switch it, where the inverter goes down below the one volt, and it will rise up to the output of nine volts. Then it will stay constant, it will stay at 9 volts until the analog signal goes above 3 volts, which is over here. Then that, that causes it to switch down. And then from then on, we don't go below 1 volt or above 3 volt, so we stay constant all the way to the end. 